G'day there, welcome back to the race side. Great to be back for day three of celebration. My goodness, the streams, the news, they keep coming. Uh, and we're getting some fantastic stuff uh, today. We don't have as much to talk about uh, than the previous two days. Oh, of course, you know, the, the kind of first two days are often the most, like, news field, I guess. Uh, but then these days are just for us to kind of sit back and enjoy some things of Star Wars. So day three, we've got some things to talk about. Got a, we've got a trailer to watch uh, and some fantastic interviews uh, over the past uh, day of celebration that has happened. Uh, and we'll get into the, all of that and more here at the race side. Who's in the chat? Let's head there. Oh, how we doing? Hey, Lerald. We've got Brooke Troha, Master Troha. We've got Brad. Hey, everyone. How you doing? And again, of course, Brad coming in with the spree. The triple kill. Brad coming in. Five dollar dues. Every day. You've done this every day, friend. My God. So how did you come in two hours early? That's commitment if I've seen it. And we've got Darth Z uh, Zamasu as well. Great to have you here. All right. Well. We'll jump into we'll jump into the news of the day, and then and then we'll get to the fun part where we just talk about anything uh, that we found interesting. Oh, SWP one, I I almost forgot you. I almost forgot you. Um, all right, let's go talk about what uh, has happened today. Uh, a couple of cool panels. Uh, nothing groundbreaking. We had uh, the villains of the sequel trilogy, which was. Uh, that was live that we could watch. You can you can go back and watch that now. That was actually quite interesting. I watched that whole thing. It was actually a fantastic interview uh, of I'm gonna forget the actress's name. Uh, she's she's doing a great job uh, of uh, Captain Phasma, uh, and we had Andy Circus as obviously Snoke, and of of course Ian McDermott came back for that one as well, which was fantastic. A uh, little later on, we had the a Kenobi a look back panel. Uh, which was we'll get focused on a lot today. Uh, obviously, seeing Ewan and uh, Hayden on stage, as well as Vivian Lyra Blair, which oh my god, this child! Why is she like the most intelligently succinct, coherent, just fantastically well-spoken child on the planet? She is so cool. If you haven't seen any of her interviews today, we might take a look live right now in the show. So, 
Uh, it's going to be good. We'll talk about all the highlights as well and uh, so much more in between. Laryl's coming in with a $5 reduce. That's, there we go. Just finishing uh, NRPP certification test. Took three hours and stayed all week. Now doing dishes. Took my head a loving it at all. Wow, what a, what a turnaround. What a turnaround. But thank you for the $5 reduce, Laryl. Thank you for your support. Hopefully we can have have a bit of fun. Relax. Now that you've you've done the test. Now that you've done it. You can uh, you can relax. After the dishes as well, of course. And Matthew coming in. Ten pounds. I don't often see a pound sign with my super chest. That's amazing. Have a great stream. I have spoken. Thank you, Matthew. That's really kind of you to say. Appreciate it. I'm sure we'll have a great one now that you're here. Thank you for your dono. Appreciate it. Hey Master Tim. In the chat, hey Dale, great to see you here. You caught it. We're only we're still in the intro, Dale. We're not in the outro. I'm so glad you made it. Hey Kyle, how you doing? Uh, love seeing Hayden getting all the love he deserves again. Absolutely, right? Gwendolyn Christie, that's a name. Thank you so much. Yep, you know what? I I, I got to rep it. Uh, there it is up there. Shut up, Cars. Hashtag, let's hashtag that. Let's get that trending, shall we? Uh the books panel. Uh, also, oh my god, Ash, I, it's you. Kylo 10. Damn. Uh, actually, at the publishing panel, I actually tried to look into it. There's not too much announced in that. Um, there's, there's a couple of comics announced, a couple of books announced, um, of, like, High Republic Phase 3 teasers. Uh, but not, not too much. Not too much has been... Uh, announced uh, for that one, but we'll, we'll have a f deeper look into that a little later on. Uh, been sleeping all day, missed everything. Thanks for having these recaps. No worries, we'll, we'll cover everything right today. This is what it's for. So good. There we go. Master Troha knows what's up. Currently packing for a study abroad trip. I found some uh, time to hop in for a minute. Hi, hello. Great to have you here. I love it when people, like, they always say that they're like, oh, I can't stay, but I'm just saying hi. It's like, well, that means so much. Like, them. you just, you, 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 you appreciate the community that much. You just want to come say hey to everyone. We appreciate you. We love you popping in. Oh, that biggest plot twit. twist. Wow. Plot twit. Uh, plot, biggest twat, plot. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. I can't even say this phrase. Plot twist. Uh, was that? Like, forget celebration. Like, that was my big news. That you're, that you're Kylo 10. Uh, hey. What is your favorite upcoming project? Ahsoka, Aquai, Skeleton Crew, and or? Mine is Ahsoka. She's my favorite character. Mm. My fa my favorite is definitely Ahsoka. I think just the trailer. I've never seen something more Star Wars-y in my life. So very excited for that. But um, I'm very, very excited for Acolyte. Uh, check out the video I did. Leslie Handler interview. Changed my life. Not really. Actually, that's a bit dramatic. Changed my perspective. There we go. That's more accurate. Uh, on Acolyte. So I, I think... You know, like, I feel like I don't talk about Ahsoka because I'm like, it's it's a given that everyone's nuts for it. Um, and, you know, it's, uh, I'm just, yeah, it's going to be fantastic. I think it's just permanently, I'm so excited for it. Uh, but but Acoly if that didn't exist, Acolyte would be the one that's really caught my attention. <clears throat> We're starting off with the hot, hot questions. What got you into Star Wars? Um, when I was about 10 years old, I've got two older brothers. And uh, they showed me... Um, the we start we started with the Phantom Menace and we watched the first all six movies. Um and fun fact, the first time I watched them all, I wasn't kind of too hot on them. I was like, they're alright. And then within about two, three months later, I watched them all again. And on the second rewatch, I was like, okay, I'm in. Which is weird. I don't know why as a 10-year-old it was so like I was so hard to like win over. I don't know. Uh but that's how I got into it and just started from there. And then Clone Wars was out that that time as well. So that that Really, Clone was really fed my love for Star Wars. Hey, Threefold, how you doing? So good. August twenty three for Shikhan's birthday. I'll never act more again. That would be awesome. Yeah, we don't really have any days or dates, do we? But, but, I, I, that would be insane. SWP one joining a new member. Welcome to the race squad. Uh, you're gonna have a great time. Uh, th this week's been all over the place because it's been a random week of, of celebration. Everything's out of place. Uh, but, uh, usually on an all week, we have exclusive streams. You get to see exclusive photos and questions and help out at the channel. Uh, so I hope you have a great time. Have lots of banter back there with the race squad. Uh, race squad, let's make SWP1 very welcome. There we go. Laurel's, you've already jumped the gun. Everyone's already welcoming you. 
I didn't I didn't even have to say it. Absolutely. Sinzitti! Hey Master Sinzitti, how you doing? You have a good day? I hope you're feeling good today. Ben 10, what is your favorite Mando episode in the season three and why? What are your expectations uh, for the next two episodes? My favorite episode is from Mando 3's episode four. We'll get to the news, by the way, in a second. I'm just catching on the chat. Um, favorite episode of season three, very quickly, is probably episode four. Uh, the opening sequence where they... Um, I forget what planet or moon it is, uh, but where Bo's castle is. That opening sequence with the TIE fighters and like that dogfight was just perfection to me uh and i love the flashback i love the reveal of killer and beck i think that's fantastic best choice i'm just happy with that whole episode i i, I really do love that episode and even and even the mando stuff with like the pterodactyl whatever the hell that was like that was cool that was just a fun bit of action it's cool phenomenal all right let's get in haircut great sunday haircut watching the masters going plenty wow what a day what a day that's like the most American day I've ever heard of in my lifetime. Um, but I had it, as I said, in Australia. Cheers. You guys don't say that elsewhere? What? Uh, can't catch up on the rest of the live letter? Can't wait to, sorry. Can't wait to catch up on the, right, uh, on the rest of the live letter. We'll catch you soon. Have a good trip abroad. I don't know where you're going, but have the best time. Thank you for dropping by. All right. All right. Let's, um, let's talk about something about Star Wars Celebration, because that's what we're here for. Um, all right, so coming up first, I, I forget I forget what happened. Sorry, I've got my list of what the panels were over here. Yes, that's right. Okay, the sequel the, there was a sequel trilogy villains uh, panel, which was fantastic, uh, really really interesting. I don't actually have too many images from from today, uh, but that was really fantastic to see uh, Ian McDermott and uh, Andy Circus and I already forget her name, Gwend Gwendolyn something. Uh, talk about those characters. It was really interesting to just hear them talk about it. You know, I think, I think because um, I know I I I didn't have the channel back then. I didn't have. I wasn't maybe that connected into the internet of of and the online Star Wars fandom uh, back when sequels came out. So I was like, oh, this is cool to hear like Andy Circus talk about Snow. This is, this is fun. Uh, but it was really cool. But um, that was an awesome panel. Enjoyed that. That is also on. That was on the live stream. So definitely go check that out if you're interested in that. Uh, another thing that happened was I think this would happen soon after. Uh, Stig. I don't know his title. The, is he the director, creative director? Game. Yeah, the game director uh, for Jedi Survivor, Stig. Uh, came out on the live show and uh, talked a little bit about uh, Jedi Survivor, which is very cool. Hope you guys have seen the other um, trailer. Should we watch the trailer together? It's just in case you haven't seen it. Um, let's let's. Where, where? How do we get it? How do we get it up on the screen? Uh, because it was a really cool trailer. Really enjoyed it. It was a really fun, fast-paced uh, trailer. It's the final gameplay trailer for Jedi Survivor. Um, here we go. Come on. Give me the trailer. Here we go. Here we go. Final, final gameplay. Should we watch it all together? Let's get the music down for this one. You, you've probably seen it, but let's watch it one more time. Cause we're going to be streaming this ourselves, ourselves on the, on the channel very soon. End of the month. Isn't that crazy? Let's take a look. You were only a child when they sent you off to war. Now look at you. The weight of a galaxy on your shoulders. Didn't I tell you to be more careful about who you scan? Come on. I cannot tell you who you must become. Or where the line That's cool. I can't, I can't wait to like fly on beacons. That's cool. Easy choices. These are dark times. We have few allies. Good to see you, Gal. I wonder who that guy was. Are against what was that? Do and they will always Yeah, I noticed that. Us. Now or never. See you. 
times our destinies are intertwined. No, is it lagging? I just saw, I think my connection dropped a little. Hang on, it's back up again. This should be back to normal. But I can tell you this. If there is any hope of surviving, we must stand against the darkness. <laughs> Oh, damn. So cool. Very, very cool. I, I th yeah, like what, like what we're saying, all the combat in this just looks so clean, intense. Yeah, there's this shot of like Cal and Marin using the force. Yeah, oh, it's going to be nuts. I can't wait to play this game. It's going to be, it's going to be epic. And, and what was awesome as well on, uh, on, at the live stage, uh, Stig was talking about the game. They chatted about it for a long time. Uh, and then uh, they, they, of course, introduced uh, Cameron Monaghan to come out on stage, which was fantastic. Uh, really cool to see him. Uh, he really committed to the poncho bit, though. If you watched along, you'll know what I mean. Uh, he, he did make a funny joke about how he would only come back to do this uh, sequel game um, if there was ponchos, which rightfully so. The ponchos were very cool. Uh, but he really committed to the bit. He really didn't let it go. Like the whole interview, he was just, Every answer, they were like having trying to have a serious conversation, and he's just like, "If those ponchos," which was funny. But then I was like, "I want to know about Cal now, though." Uh, but but he's he's great. He was he was always fantastic. He the fans loved him. He actually he wore a poncho on stage. If you didn't see this, he wore a poncho on stage when he came out, and then at the end when he was like walking off, uh, he took the poncho off and then gave it to a fan. And I was like, "That's brilliant. That's so fun." Um, so yeah, we excited for this game. It's looking good. Destroyers, yeah, that's gonna be nuts. Um, absolutely. Where's the? Uh, was he in the temple itself? Ooh, at what part? What part? We'll see. We'll see you soon, Darth Zam uh, Zamasu. Hey, Julie, how you doing? Master Julie. Uh, he has even thrown his. Uh, he even has thrown his bunch of right. How cool is that? Really? Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Yeah. Well, I. He's really committed to the bit. There's got to be ponchos. Um, but, you know, High Republic, this whole, like, frozen and, like, kept for a, a long time character. Like, there's some... Yeah, and the destroys. That was the coolest part. Actually, this little sequence here. This little sequence here where you, like... The way... Boom. Like, the way he slices it up and it's, like, dismemberment of droids, even. I was like, that's cool. Like, it doesn't just, like, fall over and it's done. It's like it's actually, it's actually, uh, we, we've been here, we've only been here 20 minutes. We've only been here 20 minutes. Geek Ledger, how you doing in the chat? Welcome. Uh, currently visiting London for the con and haven't been able to catch much of the live, uh, live stay stuff. Her ball has been enjoying coverage of what's been seen. We've seen a fair amount, actually. So, some of the panels have been shown, which has been pretty cool. Um, and, of course, a lot of live stage interviews, but it's been awesome. But we hope you're having a fantastic time, Dylan. Hope, you, hope you're having a blast. It's a, it's a definitely a once-in-a-lifetime experience unless you go to Celebration multiple times. Uh, but ho hope you're having a good time there. <laughs> I fell asleep after the excitement. That's amazing. You just got so overwhelmed. That's so good. That's so good. Absolutely. De it, yeah, it was very, very fancy menace, wasn't it? Amazing. But, uh, yeah, who, who's catching this game? Who's catching this game when it's out? I know I definitely am. We're going to be streaming it here on the channel. Uh, we do do gaming streams here if you, if you didn't know. Um, I'm still deciding of what we're going to do. Like, are we going to do it, like, every day for a certain amount of hours? Or should we just do it, like one like a long ass stream like you know just 10 hours for like two days or something i don't know We're, let me know in the chat i'm kind of open to suggestions on how we should be streaming this one uh but uh can't wait for it love cow love cow um all right well yeah the other thing we're gonna get to today as well hang on where's my where's my cool screen there, there we go there we go uh, the other thing we're going to talk about today is uh, the Kenobi panel. Let's talk about it. I'm going to, I should binge it. 10 hours. Wow. I really didn't think, 
any uh any, anyone's gonna say that absolutely not a half hour fly from uh from canada enjoying but ready to finish up tomorrow if you get what i mean i do get you mean what you mean like by the fourth day it was like you're exhausted you're exhausted hey mr right how you doing so good snow child fantastic that's so good I was gonna get it, but they said it, uh, and it goes into the new Xbox. I think. It, well, what Xbox did you did you get? It depends. I, I yeah. I, there's. I remember. I gotta look look into that. So good. I can't wait for it. <laughs> Ten hours would be good. All right. Well, let's talk about uh, the the Kenobi panel, uh, which was fantastic. I watched this live. This was absolutely phenomenal. I think even if you have criticisms about the Kenobi show, definitely go check out this panel. Uh, just hearing them talk about their characters was really, really beautiful. Um, was it a, when I made a tweet? Where did I say it? Uh, but, you know, Vivian Lyra Blair, this is like her first, well, this is her first celebration that she was able to be like, I'm Leia. Uh, so she came out and she was fantastic. Uh, and she, like, wow, does she speak so well. She speaks incredible, uh, like just fluency and just so confident. It was amazing to hear her speak. Um, so that, that is live on the Star Wars channel, so check that out. Uh, but to, what we're going to do today, which we, what we're going to do about for the for the rest of the live stream, is that I haven't actually seen uh, on the live stage, so not the panel that they did about Kenobi. I saw that, but then I didn't see the live stage uh, interviews of Hayden and Ewan. Uh, so even if you have seen that, we're going to watch that live together right now. So let me get it back up. Here we go. Because I haven't seen any of these. Um. <clears throat> There it is. Here we go. So it's only eight minutes long. Uh, some of you have already said you've seen it. You've had a look at it. And it's awesome. So I'm very excited to see what he says, uh, the reception he gets. Let's take a look. Even if you have seen this is fun to watch twice, I'm sure. After a nearly 20-year hiatus. And boy, howdy, were we glad to see him return. He may be burnt to a crisp underneath his costume. Oh, man. I love how everyone's going nuts for every but sentence. to us, he'll always be the sand-hating, moody teen from Tatooine. So I've got my Straight from a poster in Obi-Wan. my locker in high school to this stage right now, this is where the fun begins. Give it up for Hayden Christensen! <laughs> <laughs> wow, she really went nuts in that. What could you do? That's awesome. Wow. Is it lagging? Is it lagging? Why is it lagging? Is the is the is the video lagging for anyone else? Not anymore. Okay. Just let me know. Just let me know. All right. Man, you guys sure know how to make a guy feel good. That was, <laughs> that was very nice. Thank you. We do. I love you guys, too. Hi, Hayden Christensen. Making me emotional. <laughs> Oh. oh, damn. 
There isn't a single bit of it that isn't deserved. There isn't a single bit of it that isn't deserved. Uh, thank you so much. Now, having officially played both characters, what's the difference in your performance for Anakin versus Darth Vader? Um, you know, we, we think of them as, as different characters and, and, you know, of course they have different names and they look much differently, but for me, it, it is the same character. Hey, Taryn. Um, I did that dial actually. Of, I just course, switched it down to see if that helps. Appreciate you. <laughs> I, I, uh, you know, in the performance though, 50 you know, there, Does that exist? there's a difference in the physicality, of course, and, and putting on the, the Darth Vader armor, uh, uh, certainly very much bread goes, bread the way you, uh, you play the character, but emotionally it, it is just a continuation of Anakin. No. <laughs> And what was it like for you to put that armor on? Oh, uh, it's it's an incredible costume. Hey, Brad. And, you know, <laughs> is this better? So yeah. Iconic and, and it's it an honor to Damn, get you're to onto wear. it, man. Um, hey, you're officially my IT and, guy. <laughs> you know, it's it's a little restricting in, in how you can move around. Um, but yeah, it's just it's a thrill every time you get to put it on and you put the helmet on. It's it's pretty awesome. I want his hat. I love that hat he's wearing. I want to know where we can get that. Yeah. Now, now that we've seen your reunion battle with Obi-Wan, what was your favorite scene to shoot and why? Uh, you know, we, we had so much fun doing that flashback sequence and uh, yeah. getting to swing a lightsaber with you and again was, was just, you know, thrilling. Uh, but that, that last scene, the confrontation between Vader and, and Obi-Wan when he, he cracks his mask, that was, mm. that, that was one of the like, highlights of, of my acting career. Wow. Um, it, it was you know, such a perfectly written scene and what Ewan brought to it and the way Deborah sort of guided us through it. Uh, and the way it came out, I, you know, I couldn't have been happier with it. Uh, so, so that I, I'd probably choose that one. I'm pretty sure I cried when that happened. That? I said I'm pretty sure I cried when that happened in the same way I did in Revenge of the Sith when you turned around and you went. Whoosh. So it was really cool to see, and I'm glad you really <laughs> loved that scene too. Now, what has been the best oh, part about process. fan reaction and reception to Anakin over the years that you've played him? I mean, this. <laughs> wow, that's packed. Like, look how look how packed the run is. It's nuts. <laughs> like, wow, you literally can't hear the thing. This is hilarious. Oh man, oh dude. I mean, this, this, I can't tell you how much this means to me. Uh, and to get to be here with all of you and, you know, uh, see, see all the love that you have for this franchise and, <laughs> and, and to see all the incredible costumes and it just, it, it's, it's a very unique thing that we all get to be a part of and, uh, I'm very grateful for that. Now I have to ask you a hard-hitting question. As a Star Wars journalist, is there a line or moment that gets recited to you the most? You know, there's, 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 there's a lot of great lines. Um, yeah, I want, I want that hat. This is where the fun begins. It's, it's definitely a good one. Um, but for me personally, just may the force be with you, just because I love what it represents and and getting to you know, hear that from people and, and say that to people. We're gonna That's watch you uh, after this as well. And is there anything that you'd like to say? To the fans, I love you guys too. Uh, 
And, and uh, you know, I've, I've said this before, but you guys really are the reason that we, we get to be here and we, we get to, you know, that I've gotten to come back and, and play this character again. Uh, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Sublai, how you doing? I just want to say, sincerely, it is going to be one of the greatest joys of my life to sit in this chair and see you get your flowers because you deserve them and you are great and you are so loved. Thank you so much. Give it up one more time for Hayden Christensen. Oh, damn. Oh, dude. Whew. It's just so nuts. And I love how, like, they could just barely... Like, that was eight minutes long. That was eight minutes long, but they could barely uh, <laughs> talk about anything. Because everyone was just going nuts. They were going nuts. Where's the... um? Where's the Ewan one? Here he is. Here he is. Let's go back to back. Before... Hi guys, thank you all for oh, he's only there briefly. It's been a great weekend so far. But um I have a friend that I really want you guys to meet. Oh my and say god. Hi to. Is it okay? Oh my god, brain? what about race squad? I got married. Jeez. It's like that's amazing, Sublight. We we wish you all the congratulations. I could, are you like what? How are you, how are you talking to why are you talking to us right now? Oh dude, that's awesome. Oh yeah, did you get engaged or did you get married? Which one? That's that's phenomenal, dude. That's so so good. Race squad. Let's put some hearts in the chat uh, for Sublight sharing the love. That's amazing. Hi guys, thank you all for y'all. It's just been a great weekend so far. But um, I have a friend that I really want you guys to meet and say hi to. Is it okay if I bring them out right now? Okay, you asked for it. <laughs> the crowd lol. Again with the cute hat. Lars Mickelson had this hat as well. Did he go up twice? I really love the Obi-Wan thing. I really love that thing. I know there's lots of children, I just, I won't swear, but my goodness. It's so nice to see you all. I, I, know, I was like, dude, are you on a honeymoon I just somewhere? wanted to come out and say goodbye. We love I've you, champion. just finished my last we'll signing and, and photographs. Time. And I just, um, I'm always so touched to meet you all. You know, these, these, these amazing uh, celebrations. Your most amazing fans in the world. We couldn't be luckier to have you all. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Uh. Cheers. Hello, <laughs> oh, Thank you. Oh. You made me cry. You made me cry. Anyway, we're lucky to have you as our fans, and uh, we love you so much. Thank you all for coming from all over the world. It's been such a joy to meet you all. And I look forward to seeing you at the next one, whenever it is. And uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. That's so great. May the force be with you. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? May the force be with you! <laughs> <laughs> this dude! Oh, this guy. This guy. He's so great. 
Oh, he's so great. The R at the end, that's next level. That's so great. He's so fun. He's so, so fun. Oh, dude. He's got me having all the feelings. He looks like a French wine artist. He does. Look at his little hat. His little outfit with his boots. I saw your um, tweets, uh, Julie, Master Julie, about uh, the, the, he's, he's Doc Martens. Um, yeah, he's he's just fantastic. Yeah, 2025. I feel like that's a good amount of time for people to plan and save. No matter where it is, who's going? Who's planning on it? Who's planning on it? Because I definitely am. Remember Green James Annotate have been on stage together? That's a good question. I don't I don't think I don't think so. I actually don't think so. Um they've only briefly met a few times. Uh both obviously very busy, busy Obi ones. So uh I think they've only met a couple of times. Uh, I don't think they've been on stage together. He's never gonna miss a celebration from now on, I bet he deserves this. Absolutely. I, I hope he doesn't. I hope he's never not at one. I did see a retweet of that. That is phenomenal. That is so cool. He's so nice, man. He's so nice. Couldn't find the Hayden cap. Must be a celebration exclusive merch. I don't know. Like maybe it's his own hat or something. His own stuff. Right? The moustache is great. The moustache is so good. Let's get a close up. Do we have a close up of the stash? He's so funny. But uh, he, he, yeah. I, I love how he just came out just to say hey to everyone. It wasn't like a full on interview. So where, where's, where's this? Where's the live stream? Day three. Did he come? Did he come out again at all? There's some great interviews. I definitely recommend going to see this. Warwick was there. Um, yeah, this is the panel. Very, 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 very long audition process. Um, I think it was about the course of like almost a year that I was Like she just speaks so well. No, I'm getting, I'm getting off track here. There we, here we go. Here's a good close up of the stash. Look at him. Look at that. Look at that. General Mustachio. I love it. Yeah, you're on the hunt for those Doc Martens? Yeah, there's like a cool burgundy Doc Martens. Yeah, you might might have uh, custom made it. I think so. I think so. Nice to see such support from fans uh, for all the new and returning actors. Tons of crying from so many actors. It's so nice. Yeah, like the one that got me, oddly, is when Lars Mikkelsen got really caught, like choked up uh, in, in his interview. I think that was just really beautiful because I – because he, he was explaining, he's like, I live in Denmark. Like, I don't, it's so small. Like, he's not really online. He doesn't, he didn't know people were loving, um, the, you know, the character of Thrawn and, and loved his character and, and was so eager for him to come back. So he was like, you could just see him. I'm, I'm posting a reel about it later today. Like, he was just in such shock of the love he was getting. It was so beautiful. It was so, so good. Where's it? I want to find a part of this. And, like, that's exactly what the kidnappers did, too. So, like, she doesn't really know that she can trust him. And when she sees that he's wanted and stuff, that's a red flag. So, um, <laughs> she's so, so great. she's a little bit, you know, like, okay, that's not good. And so she like, runs this away from real? him. And then I think that. Yes, were you here? Like, we just watched it. We just watched it, Dominic. Like, 10 minutes ago, we just watched Hayden's interview. So cute. So insane. Yeah, that's a red turning flag. point is when he catches her with the force. She starts to believe, like, oh, got it. So, oh, I'm not so bad. Cute. So, um, I think it's, that's kind of the turning point where she starts to believe, like, okay, this guy is trying to help me, and even though he looks kind of old and beat up, he can still apparently have a few tricks up his sleeve. So, um, so good. So, yeah, I think that was really the trick. Like, the way she speaks is so cool. It's amazing what they can do with makeup these days, you know. <laughs> That's good. 
okay, I just need a moment. Um, and Ewan, you know, you got to the seminal character in Star Wars, and of course we see Leia come back to Obi Wan for help. So, uh, actually, let's watch this. This is actually really interesting. Got to kind of define the beginning of that. Yeah. Um, what was that like? It was beautiful. I mean, the the relationship. It was so brilliantly um, written that she has an effect on him. You know that he's able to go back. To Tatooine at the I end. do agree. I think the writing of the Obi Wan Leia relationship is Luke, well done. That she teaches him that um, he needs to allow. He needs. He he learns how to be a dad, I suppose, with her. Because the, the the fun stuff about the script was that he wasn't very good at hey, it. Hey, beginning, You know, he he um he doesn't really know how to be with us with a, a kid at the beginning. But by the end of it, they've got such a great rapport. And um, yeah, you just played it so beautifully. You know, you you. You managed to pl make the character your own, and at the same time, it was Leia that we know. You know, there oh, was such talking. there was such links to <laughs> there was oh, such links cute. to Carrie Fisher, and uh, it was so beautiful to see those and feel that. You know, it, you did such a great job. It was brilliant. Well, you know, speaking of Leia, it was also lovely to see um, you know her relationship with Tala, and you can kind of you can easily see how Leia would carry that forward with her, right? In her heart and as she, you know. So good. Anyway, there's, there's a whole, the, most of the panel is there, um, which is awesome. They talk about it for quite a while and they talk about their favorite moments. Um, Hayden talks. They they go through all their favorite scenes. Actually, I'll get taken down if I show that. And everything and, and you rehearse, but is there that moment when you get on set that you have that just like, like that emotional, like, oh, like we're here again. Daisy's reveal was Big insane, time. yeah. Yeah, no, it was, but I'm it excited was really for a, a very special day. Um, and, you know, everyone from the crew came out to, to watch, you know, so it really was this sort of hey, yeah, yeah. communal hey, feeling to the whole thing. And, and we just had a lot of fun, you know. Uh, we, we had enough practice swinging a lightsaber that we were just sort of able to enjoy it. And, um, and, and of course, we want to do it all ourselves because, it, you know, it's it's – to get to swing a lightsaber is a privilege, and so you you, you want to do that yourself. Mm. Oh, somebody needs to make that into Good a t-shirt. Make that into um, a t-shirt. So Let's was... do it. Let's make it a t-shirt. Uh, but the, yeah, that's so cool. Really, genuinely, like the that panel is just so. In, this panel is so interesting. So so interesting. Oh, well, wow. all the emotions today. All the emotions today. Uh, we'll look at one last thing uh, today. We're gonna check out. Uh, there was another panel. Uh, the Kenobi Pena panel, panel, well, um, villains of the sequel trilogy. What else was there? Um, and then, yeah, the only other notable pa panel was uh, Lucasfilm Publishing. A uh, couple of books revealed. Um, so we're going to have a look at that because they, they post them all sequentially on the Star Wars website, which I'm going to refer to because that's the easiest way to, to refer to it. Um, so let's take a look. So if you're into books... Uh, this was what was revealed at the panel. Let's go. Let's go. So the first one, a lot of them, I thought it was going to be more like actual stories and novels, but, uh, you know, they, they've a timeline book, which is interesting. I think, uh, you know, how, how interesting is the first thing they put on this page is War Between Worlds. Um, timeline, which is kind of interesting. So timeline delves into everything from Din Djarin's identity to War Between Worlds. Now, that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Uh, this one I, I've seen um, uh, advertised a lot, uh, Star Wars 100 Objects. Kind of cool. I might actually get this book. Uh, I'm really into, like, random props and objects from Star Wars, so I think I might get this one. It's kind of cool. Uh, 100, oh, Star Wars 100 Objects. So cool. So, so cool. This one you might all be interested in, The Art of Jedi Survivor. I think this is a brilliant one. I think a lot of people want to get their hands on this. Uh, Jedi Survivor is the cover art for – so it's just the cover art. I uh, can't wait to uncover the latest adventures of Cal Kestis. Uh, in, then delve into the concept art that started all this December, so released in December, which which is, looks pretty good. That Even just as a cover, that looks phenomenal. How do I exit that? There we go. Uh, Return of the Jedi from a certain point of view. Uh, where do I find that page for books? Um, just just S -S -W -C -E publishing reveals type that in uh high republic character encyclopedia uh they've done encyclopedias before like they're expanding into high republic uh the secrets of wookies 
random, random reveal here. Uh, and is this, are we talking a holiday special back here? What the, uh, life day? What the hell's going on? Um, but that's amazing. The secrets of Wookiees. Uh, I guess, you know, they, we're having a Wookiee Jedi in, in, uh, Acolyte. I, I think, you know, Wookiees are pretty popular these days. Glad they're exploring it. Uh, kids book. I'm thinking maybe we should get this and review it. Looks great. A Wookiee hug. That's beautiful. Um, but of course, another young uh, Jedi Adventures book as well. I, I like he forgets that was is for kids too as well. That's funny. Now this is the ticket that that I think I have to be getting. We have to be getting this right. Reviewing it. Look at what what in the hell are all these things? This looks delicious. Bantha burger. Sapla shake. That looks fantastic. Uh, so definitely we'll be having to get our uh, hands on the new Star Wars Ultimate Cookbook, um, which is really, really exciting. Don't know when that's – when is that coming out? Don't know when it's coming out. But, uh, Julie, you, you brought my attention to it first. Um, and, yeah, definitely looks delicious. We'll have to make a bunch of that on uh, the channel. Uh, and Flip Pops, not sure what that is, but just a fun art book, I believe. Uh, so that's all for the publishing side and that was the last panel of day three that was it that was it there was no other panels uh so let's go back to our other screen today now we'll look ahead to tomorrow the really really the only panel of note i had to check over there uh the panel of note that comes tomorrow is the bad batch channel uh which is uh really really cool yeah bad batch uh actually there's a visions panel of visions look through i think tomorrow good point Good points, F Merc. Um, is a reference book. I reckon. I think so. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I know. I, one day, one day, we'll make a cookbook here. One day. Uh, we could be getting a season two trailer for Visions. Uh, who in the chat liked Visions? Did you enjoy that? Are you excited for season two? Are you keen for it? Um. Uh, what's being announced for Celebration Day 4? Uh, news and Visions. Yeah, I think Visions and also Bad Batch. So the Bad Batch, uh, like, look, not look back, but just, you know, the Season 2 Bad Batch panel uh, is happening tomorrow, uh, which is really, really cool. And uh, hopefully we definitely get news on Season 3, if it's happening, when it's happening, uh, and what will be happening in it. I think that will be super exciting. Um, yeah, you guys, you guys like Visions? Brooks. Brooke loved it. Tur did. Brad did. Fair enough, <laughs> Dylan. Let's let's just believe, hey. Let's believe. <gasps> oh, that's so good. Really enjoyed it, Dylan, as well. Visions was overall awesome. Some clunkers, but overall really neat and interesting. Maxley said, "Yeah, have a rewatch. Have a rewatch. Absolutely. We hope you're feeling better soon, Sonia. That's so sad." Uh, but, uh, yeah, maybe some news on that. I really didn't tickle my fancy. Really not my thing. I haven't really thought about it since, but, uh, I do know a lot of people, um, really, uh, loved it, loved the show. I'm very excited for season two. So, uh, yeah, have to get some info on that. Uh, maybe a trailer like we're talking about. Uh, but I, I think it's not as bad as Endor. <laughs> no, well, I, I much prefer Endor. Much, much prefer Endor. My God. Um, and of course, yeah, Bad Batch panel. That'll be cool. I, I don't know if that'll be live streamed. Maybe it will, because there's not much else happening on that day. Maybe it will be. Hopefully it will. Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll get to hear some news. Love, always love to see Dee Bradley Baker uh, talk about the clones. And hopefully they'll have Michelle Ang there uh, as Amiga. Uh, I remember last year's Bad Batch panel, they had a, uh, like a, um, a script read through of one of the scenes and it was so cool like to hear them both like it was hilarious because Michelle Lang just spoke as Amiga when she said Amiga's parts uh but Dee Bradley Baker did they had to do like all the speaking of like all the clients you go to tech and then Hunter and then uh, all these voices it was so good it was so so good um but that's gonna be very exciting can't wait for it can't wait for it uh I'm not sure if that's happening in Australia I don't know if it's happening here, but if it is, you bet. I'm going to go see it like five times. I, I would love to see that movie on the big screen. Um, so, not yeah, not sure if it's happening in Australia. Should I come over to the States just for that? I think so. Oh, so good. Omega. That's it. That's it. 
I would love to see the release, but I'm sure it's very limited. Run. I think it goes till till May fourth. Uh, so it's I think it's one week. It just goes for one week. Yeah, on May twenty uh, eighth of April to May uh, May fourth, I believe, which is very very cool. I think I think I feel like I should have done it a couple of days after May fourth, but that's okay. But that's okay. Um, but Australia's so delayed and late on everything. So we'll see. We will see. Uh, but yeah, those are the news from uh, today. Cal coming back. Cameron Monaghan on stage, which was so cool to see him again. He's so fantastic. Uh, again, he really committed the bunch of it. But, um, see, I think Hayden and Ewan make it. I don't think that's ever not going to be emotional. It's so fun to see them uh, on, on stage and definitely check, check out that panel. It's it's fun to see them just like talk together. Um, it's Yeah, it's, it's really, really sweet. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll hopefully Bad Batch news tomorrow, other news of Visions and other things. And the key piece of news we'll get from tomorrow is where the next celebration will be, which is key information. I want to start saving. Start planning. Start booking things. Celebration 2025. Uh, at the end of every celebration is where they announce the next one. So hopefully we get that announcement of uh, what city we'll be in and maybe what month, perhaps. Uh, even a date. Actually, they usually have a, they usually have dates for these. It's very, very cool. I meant limited as in limited cities. What? Da, da, da. Oh, oh, right, right, right. But, but in, in saying that, it's only, it's a, it is only available for a few days. We do need a celebration in Australia. We do. I've been saying that. It's like the prequels were like damn made here. Like all that felt like, Hayden even says... In the panel, he's like, oh, yeah, like, well, you know, my first experience with Star Wars was, like, going to Australia. It's like, prequels were, like, built here. We need a celebration here. Come on. It's going to be the 20-year 20, uh, 20 anniversary of Revenge of the Sith. Bring it to Sydney. Come on. Where you made it. I know, right? All the lies. You're living in lies. I uh, would love to see Revenge of the Sith on big screen again. I know, right? Oh, it's going to be nuts. Celebration? It's going to be so, so good. I would love that. I would love that. No, they're not doing one in 2024. They've already uh, confirmed it's going to be 2025. Unless they go back on their word and they just be like, oh, it's happening now. Oh, Lerald. <laughs> How many? Dude, I've been here for 54 minutes. How many dishes you got, bro? Yes. Oh, dude, if it's if it's in Sydney, Australia, like I'm telling you, like it's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be nuts. You you all have to come out for it. I'll give you a tour of Australia, damn it. Personally, yes, I really thought he was gonna be. I really, really thought he was gonna be. It's like, come on, come on. Absolutely, we'll, we'll have a we'll have a Barbie. We'll have a Barbie at my place. Let's do it. Let's do it. A barbie, a barbie is the same as um, a cookout. That's the Australian version of a cookout. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. Uh, ce celebration is in the States. I'll go, but I don't fly. Uh, I have no wings. Um, as in you don't like flying? Is that what that means, Brad? If it's in Sydney, I'll lose Are you from Australia, dude? Are you from Australia? That'll be nuts. Celebration at my house. I'll make snackos, right? Right, Shane? We're still living it. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I definitely think it should be in Australia, but I, I don't think it will be. I think it's... I literally think it's... We're too far away. We're too far away for everyone. <laughs> You're in Canberra? Oh, dude, that's awesome. Canberra's getting an A-League team. Um, I know people in Canberra. I was actually thinking of visiting Canberra soon, oddly. Uh, but that's so cool. I love that. I love our banter on Twitter, too. That's been so fun. Ooh, Ben 10. That's a cool theory. I, I subscribe to that theory. That's cool. <laughs> Titanic. Are you an A-League fan? This is so niche, dude. This is so niche. Are we? Did we just become Star Wars friends and A-League friends? This is phenomenal. Uh, what a day. If you guys find the hat, uh, let us know. Yeah, we've got to find that hat that, you, that Hayden wears, right? We've got to find that. On the hat. I don't watch AFL. I don't watch AFL, no. 
I appreciate it though. I'm a, I'm a sports person. I like watching sports, but I don't watch it. Oh, that's so good. Anyway, anyway, oh my god, we're just we're just dawdling now. Um, all right, guys, we'll uh, strap in for tomorrow's stream and uh, race squad. I'll be letting you know. I think we should do a little call-in segment tomorrow. What do you think of that? End of celebration. We'll have the closing ceremony. We'll all have uh, po uh, PCD post celebration depression uh so it's gonna be really sad once it's all finished so i think uh a call-in segment with our race squad will cheer us up a little bit so uh i'll let you guys know only race squad only um about that after after the stream uh but uh yeah tune in tomorrow same time uh we'll have lots to talk about i'm sure announcement of uh the uh, next celebration, and we'll uh, just talk about all our favorite things from celebration and have the race squad call in. It's going to be awesome. Oh, Ben, we're about to finish. I'm so sorry. I I made it an hour earlier, usually. Um, well, I said it was going to be an hour, like this time yesterday, but it was an hour earlier. But I tried to put it everywhere. I'm so sorry. PCD, post-celebration dudes. Uh, dudes, depression. That's not what I was going to say. <laughs> Post celebration depression. God, I gotta get out of here. I'm going. I'm going nuts. I'm going nuts. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining, everyone. Uh, thank you for the super chatters supporting me here at the channel. Uh, you definitely help me uh, be able to do this consistently, and that I don't have to do less or stop anytime soon. Uh, the 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 way you guys are super chatting and supporting me is uh, is letting me live to do this and uh, bring all this content for you guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the discussion, the conversation, making me weep watching Ewan uh, and Hayden together. It's been awesome. I'll catch you guys same time tomorrow. Yeah? Okay. Have a great rest of the night. And always choose the race line. Troha, what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> if you're talking about the if you're talking about the call-in segment, it's tomorrow, mate. I was saying we're gonna do a call-in tomorrow. Why are you so sad? <gasps> what? Uh, the wise words of a very stoic man. <laughs>